Hello viewers, this is Lord Deku on August 3rd, 2013 at about 3.07 a.m. And welcome to Let's Play Tails' Sky Patrol Part 2. So, obviously I've found out how to pause the game. The last, the exit was kind of me frantically trying to figure out how to pause it, because this is a different emulator than Project 64, which I'm mainly used to, in which pause is simply F2. I actually have to hit the combo for pause on my keyboard for this, apparently, so that's kind of weird, but, you know, what are you going to do? And, um... So, I'm going to pretty much jump right into it. Um, I'll do the whole reading the gameplay thing in the next video, at the start of the next video. Uh, because I kind of took up half the previous video talking, so I kind of want to get... You know, I want to try to get this world done. I don't know. I mean, like I said, I have got more... Like I said in the last video, I have got more to say. Uh, but, you know, what do you say... I talk about that while playing the game. So let's unpause this. I said unpause it. Hold on. Let me figure out what's going on. Okay, so now it should work. I am sorry about that. Here we go. Okay. So we're back. Um, so yeah, one of the things about me is that... You know, pretty much when people say, you know, that they have a messy room and all that, um, you know, I've encountered a, a ton of people who have, you know, told me things like, you know, there's no way you have a messier room than me and everything like that. And, you know, I'm not really somebody who's proud of my messy room. You know, I don't debate them or anything. Um, it's more my family and and people who have seen my room that basically, I, I, I don't know, it's not really defending my room to claim it's the dirtiest room ever, but uh, my room has pretty much uh, notoriously gained the title of dirtiest room ever. Um, pretty much, uh, you know, it's not that I've never cleaned it, um, but let's just say up until maybe my junior year of high school I had a vote for Mario poster on my door that I got when I was like seven in a Nintendo power or something like that uh, you know and my friends would be like oh why do you have that and I don't know I just wouldn't think anything of it I just mainly wanted to cover wall space and I didn't you know, I didn't really have any age-appropriate posters, so I just put what I had, which was Nintendo Power posters. That's kind of a uh, humorous thing, I suppose. Now it's all filled up with half-naked ladies. I got Laura Vandervoort in her Supergirl outfit. I have Kim Kardashian in a wet, white, skimpy bikini. Um, I have a... Fuck, what do I have? What is it? It's Life on Top, I think. I think it's like a porno magazine, I don't know. But anyway, yeah. So my room's kind of slowly becoming more age-appropriate. Um, so basically I've started to clean it. And because I have, you know, so many, so many things from when I was younger, you know, I'm finding just a ton of things, and one of the things I'm finding that kind of relates to LPing is kind of pages of Nintendo Power, of old Nintendo Power, which kind of fits in with me talking about the Vote for Mario poster and the Nintendo Power posters. Um, so, pretty much, uh, one of the things that happened is not necessarily me specific i mean i guess somewhat but it's more just you know a combination of dogs and friends and shit but anyway i guess you know 
me to the extent of where I placed it, but my my Nintendo Power and game magazines and just magazines in general, uh, they they never really lasted. Uh, they would get really fucked up, like really quickly. And so my mom had this idea when I was. I don't know, it wasn't too far back, maybe senior year of high school, junior year. But anyway, she said, you know, why don't you just get binders, tear the pages out yourself, and do that. And so I did that for most of my game guides, and I don't really like it as much, and I wish I didn't, because, you know, it's kind of permanent. Um, but, you know, I started to do it for Nintendo Power, and so I had this... I had this great idea of comprising, like, this binder, um, that's... And I am playing this live, by the way, so, I mean, that's the pauses and stuff. Um, I don't do post-commentary, as I said before in a Mario video, you know, sometimes it seems like it would be easier, but, I don't know, it's just not my style. But anyway, I had this idea that... I would tear out all the pages of all the Nintendo Power magazines that I had. Uh, this is before Nintendo Power unfortunately ceased publication, which I'm still sour about. But anyway, and this is mainly why I'm sour about it, is this story. And, um... So I have just pages of Nintendo Power just lying about. You know, I have it in bins, on the floor on top of things such as my dresser and stuff and I just have pages of Nintendo Power just all over uh, because I couldn't do the binder thing because um, whoa uh, it seems like kind of being reckless whoa not that reckless yeah but being reckless is kind of a good thing here well we'll see um, Okay, I'm kind of focusing now. Wow, shit. Am I ever going to complete this level? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, it didn't work because uh, Nintendo Power, uh, the pages, of course, are double-sided. But more than double-sided, um, you know, not each page, you know, not each side relates to each other. You know, so, you know, comprising all the Tales of Symphonia and all the Zelda and all that, you know, together, it wouldn't really work because of that, you know, because I'd be taking, uh, you know, I feel like I'm talking about, like, you know, sort of my weird habits, like Nintendo Capri Sun does a lot and Sora Lance does a few times. Uh, but anyway, it didn't work. That's the main thing. And so I have all these pages laying about. And so as I'm starting to clean my room to kind of, you know, just kind of remake my hobbies and remake, you know, kind of the whole image, especially with me being a writer, you know, me trying to get, you know, kind of a more appropriate workspace for myself, um... You know, I've been kind of picking up these Nintendo powers, you know, off my floor and such. And there's so much nostalgia that... Okay, so that doesn't seem to attack enemies. I don't really know what the big deal about the ring spinning around me is, but whatever. Yeah, this seems like an arcade game. Was the Game Gear an arcade game with, I don't know, with all the continues? and I don't know. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I'm not saying it was or wasn't. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's really just filling me with this wonderful sense of nostalgia, uh, to kind of pick up the Nintendo Power and just kind of, you know, just look at it, you know, I have these, you know, specifically, you know, a specific example is, uh, most recently I experienced that sense of nostalgia, uh, by looking at one and seeing, um, and seeing uh, Super Mario Sunshine and Sonic Adventure 2 being advertised. Yeah, that really doesn't... It just goes right through the enemies when I charge it. So I don't... Maybe there's enemies a bit later on that take more than one hit. And, you know, that's, you know, literally a charged attack and does more damage. I don't know. I don't know. Does it go farther? No, it doesn't seem to. I don't know. I don't know what that is. 
I don't know, maybe there's more buttons too, I don't know. I'll be sure to read the gameplay next, um, next video, at the start of the next video, because I'm, you know, I may be playing, but I'm just not making any progress. Yeah, I mean, it really seems to be about points, which kind of hints towards arcades. I don't know if this is like a chain or maybe something we just have here, but we have a thing called Nickel City here that's kind of a local arcade that uh, I used to kind of go to when I was a kid. That was unfair. Guess I'm supposed to speed up after killing that flinging turtle thing. Man, I have so many stories I want to tell. Um, yeah, <sighs> fuck. Uh, I guess I'll finish up with the room thing and then I'll go into Nickel City. Um, because literally I hadn't planned Nickel City. That sort of just happened. Uh, but anyway, uh, there. Yeah, so pretty much I'm just getting a lot of nostalgia from from doing it, and I kind of want to collect all the old Nintendo powers that I kind of misplaced. Okay, so that's what attacked me. The, the birds do that. Okay, so I'm going to just try dodging enemies. Because it looks like that's kind of easier than hitting them, and I don't... I mean, obviously, from Mario, I don't give a fuck about points, so... Okay, so my fingers are on the wrong keys. Um, damn it. Okay, so, yeah, when I was younger, uh, so it's not that I never cleaned my room, you know, since I was, like, seven, but I just, I never, um, finished it, I guess. I didn't, I don't know, there's just, there was a lot of things left over. I never completely finished my, finished cleaning my room since I was, like, seven or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, my tactic used to be, when cleaning my room, uh, to, um, to go through my VHS collection, for those of you that don't know what VHS is, it's pre-DVD, it's before DVD, I really feel old explaining what a VHS is, but, damn it, went right into him, that's nothing new, again, from Mario, uh, anyway, um, yeah, my VHS collection and my CD collection, now, CDs was mostly including uh, Pokemon soundtracks, and VHS mostly consisted of Disney movies and uh, recorded episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> I actually used to record episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh, the first series, before they, I don't know, they introduced aliens or whatever the hell they're doing now. Um... But, yeah, I remember my favorite DVD was, you know, I used to take the, um, the boxes. Oh, that's pause. Enter is pause. Okay, fuck. Seems so simple. Um, yeah, I used to take, like, the boxes for the recording, uh, tapes. And I used to, like, print out, like, screenshots of the shows. And, I don't know, I used to make my own my own thing with my dad's help because he likes doing that kind of crafty stuff whoa okay damn it i was trying to like fly a whoa did i just get hit twice uh, i'm really like needing to read the gameplay but i've said that already um so yeah my dad like crafts and stuff he actually when we were learning about the different missions in school he helped me create this and this is elementary school, mind you, and we, me and him created, like, this styrofoam, gigantic mission Santa Cruz, I think it was. It was just really cool. Uh, anyway. Um. So, yeah, I remember my favorites were, uh, Dark Rage when, uh, one second. Alright, sorry about that. My dad got up to fuck with laundry, so I don't know if you can hear it, but it's in the garage, which is literally right behind me, so you might be able to hear hear it, so, yep, I'm gonna cut all that out. Shit! And, um, 
so yeah, as I was saying, uh, while he was fucking around, I did make a notice to where I was, and so as I was saying, uh, my favorite, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, um, tape that I had recorded, especially to... Wait, does that not kill me? Does it take, like, two hits to kill me? Because it kind of seems like... kind of seems like that. So I guess I'll test it out, because there's no fucking way I'm beating this level, but... Uh, like in this video. But I can at least check on that. Whoa. Shit. No! Okay, that definitely kills me in one hit. Uh, but yeah, my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! tape that I had recorded was Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Rage, which was my versus Merrick and in, like, the second season, I think. I don't remember, but, um... Yeah, uh... I also had, uh... What did I have? I had... Yu-Gi versus the Big Five... Yugi and Joey, I think, versus the Big Five. I don't know. But, um... I had... The Waking the Dragons, Episode 1, I think. And bear in mind, these are all recorded. I didn't have any of the DVDs. Uh, and then lastly, I had Face Off. Yugi versus Kaiba at the foot of Pegasus's castle. And that's what I think of whenever I think of, um, Nickel City. Because one of my friends, uh, actually, um, Gaming Guider, who I've mentioned before, um, his, he had a birthday, um, at Nickel City, or that's where we met up, something like that. And I went to his birthday party instead of watching part one, I think, of it. And I was, like, getting ready while part one was going on. And, um, so my, one of my friends, um, who actually watched it, and he was at the birthday, too, he was telling me about it. And so, whenever I go to Nickel City or drive by it, because it's right out in the open when you drive by it, I always think of Face Off, Yugi versus Kaiba, and Kaiba threatens to, like, kill himself. I'm so surprised with, like, I don't know, how much of that show was, like, fucked up and dubbed by four kids, because I literally never noticed when I was a kid, which, I, I mean, I guess that's good, right? But, anyway, Nickel City was exactly what it sounds. It was a whole bunch of arcades that you could play with nickels, and, uh, my cousin and her friend which I talked about, the friend I'm, I was attracted to in um, my Minecraft gallery. I had, like, her and my cousin's name on my... on a sign in the gallery, which I don't even have that Minecraft, unfortunately, anymore, because I switched computers and lost all my data. So that sucks, but I suppose that's like, okay, I don't want this, I don't want this, no... No! Damn it, I knew that would happen. I fucking knew it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, me and her spent days there. Some of my friends got their first job at... At Nickel City, but... Yeah, Nickel City was kind of like... The cool kids hang out. And so, as I said... I'm not really... I don't know. It's kind of hard to define who I am in terms of... Um, clicks and all that. But... I wasn't really unpopular. I wasn't a jock, per se. It was more along the lines of by choice. Uh, I, I think I've mentioned this, but in case I didn't, they were just too boring, always talking about football, and I like football, but I like playing sports, not talking about them. So, I mean, watching them is even better than just talking about them, and it just kind of seems like video games and and books, and there's just so much, so many things that are just better to obsess on than football, but I don't know, I mean, I, I guess that's just my personal thing, but, you know, I did have good relations, and I did hang out a lot with the cool kids, and so, naturally, I used to go to Nickel City a lot, kind of went downhill, but whatever. Uh, so this is gonna be my last take, whoa. Sorry, took my hand off the keyboard. Okay, so this is going to be it.
So, let's see. Yep, continue. And I'm gonna pause it right here. I started it, paused it. Uh, goodbye and so long. See you in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. I'll continue all my all my stuff in the next video. Uh, so again, thank you and goodbye.